We spend a lot of very personal time with our clientele on all of our projects. I don't know another way to design than to intimately get to know the project, the people that are going to live in it. My inspiration truly derives first and foremost from my clients. There's a reason why this business is not named after myself, because at the end of the day, what we design has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with our clients. They're our first point of inspiration, first and foremost. Our approach to designing a home is not just architecture and interior specific. It encompasses everything about how you show up in the world, who they are, what they care about, how you dress, where you like to go out to eat, what kind of music do you listen to? How do you like to entertain? How they want people to feel in their home, how they want to feel in their home. They have a whole story that we need to learn. And a lot of people may not even be aware of what that is, and that is our job. We're getting to learn about them as they also are getting to know themselves better. And as they're doing so, they're more aware of, of what it is they need from their spaces and why. All of that guides our decision making so that every decision we make is very intentional and always goes back to the original source of inspiration, which is the client. My team and I are all trained in architecture. I have a dad who builds high-end custom homes, a grandpa that was an architect. My other grandpa was a real estate developer. I've seen a lot of frustration from either clients and or builders in that their designer isn't aware of what's capable for them. We pour so much of our intention and our energy and our creativity into these projects, and they're not for us. At the end of the day, they're not. We're creating something for someone else, which is a beautiful privilege and an honor that we, it's why we do what we do.